Welcome back students. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load vector data into QGIS. So let's get started. First of all, you should download vector data that I have provided to you in the material section of this course. First thing which uh, I would like to ask you to do is to open the folder where the data is located and to Ex um, to see what is inside of this folder. So what you will see is that we have uh, files which uh, have the same name but uh, they have different extension. All these files belong to one uh, shape file. So all these um, files um, form what we know and what we call vector data. So um, we can see that we have um, files which are called B boundary, facilities, green space, and subway station. Now we should add those uh, vector data to QGIS project. The question how to do it? One easy way to do it is to find um, shape file um, with the extension vector file with extension of CHP so-called shapefile and just drag and drop it inside of your QGIS. Here I have a warning that uh, the uh, selection of transformation uh, should be done. So uh, transformation related to the uh, transformation of um, coordinate system. I just agree to this message and file would appear in my canvas. Let's do it with the, the with the rest of the files. Let's just drag and drop them. So another way to add vector uh, files, um, we will do the following uh, operation with the rest files. We will go to the layer, I'm sorry, to the layer and select add layer where you use add vector layer. Then we should navigate to the folder uh, where our vector data is saved. So I'm going to navigate to my folder and of course you have to navigate to the folder where you have select, um, saved the data and uh, here I can see the, the files. Here we have um, different options. So uh, now all the files that are in, in the folder are uh, shown to us but we can here on the right select a particular type of file that we would like to add. This could be especially useful if you have a folder which contains many files, not like in my case, it is just few of them. So we can browse and um, here uh, we use S3 shapefile format because, because vector data could have different uh, formats depending on the software it was created in. We have um, only added two vector files. We still have to add the rest. Let's add subways add and we can also add also green spaces open add and I think be boundary all the files were added I can move the folder I don't need it in the, at the moment and what what I now can see is that all the all the files uh, have been um, uh, loaded into the canvas if we just uncheck this box here we can uh, see whether all the shape files were uh, added correctly and then that, that they also have all the same coordinate system because otherwise they would not um, display correctly and not will be displayed at the same uh, at the same place so this is important to check now I, I would like to show you how to rearrange the layers in your QGIS project. So first we need to put subway stations on the top. What you need you have to highlight and drag to the uh, first position subway station file. Then we will locate green spaces and facilities and boroughs the final file which we have on the last position is boundary. So that was um, the video about how to uh, add vector data into QGIS, the latest version of QGIS, as well as how to arrange your files.